learnings from me at IMI is to visit projects in the field and see how the results of our research are being put into practice by farmers and water managers. In Nepal, for example, I have seen how tapping spring waters has brought not only pipe water to the houses of poor families, but how the predominantly women for householders, the men were working overseas, were able to use some of the water for a thriving vegetable production system. The profits from selling the vegetables help the women school their children and buy essential household items. In Ethiopia, I have seen vital traditional irrigation systems and rainwater harvesting practices that have similarly helped transform households and small communities. What is happening in Nepal and Ethiopia is also happening on other small farms right across Africa and Asia. Local growers are beginning to discover the huge benefits that simple on-farm water management can bring. Using water more effectively, together with improved market access, can transform marginal subsistence agriculture into a thriving business opportunity. At the same time, it can have a major impact on local food security and contribute to lasting poverty alleviation. What is just as remarkable is that much of this innovation is farmer driven. It is not donors or governments who are leading the way, but smallholders themselves. For the first time, we now know the extent of this watery revolution and the potential it has to deliver improved livelihoods. The Ag Water Solutions Project has been a three year partnership led by IMI to try and better understand how water management on small holdings can improve farmers' lives. Millions of farm holders struggle to grow food with little water. Often this is not because of water is scarce, but because they lack the means to harness what is available. Without access to water, small holders are limited to rainy season crop production. This can make it hard for them to make a living. But smallholder farming can and should be an engine for economic growth, poverty reduction and food security. Better water management can help make this happen at a hitherto unrealised scale. Many of the technologies for water, smallholder water management are already with us. Cheap pumps and new ways of powering them are transforming farming and boosting incomes all over Africa and Asia. Simple tools for drilling wells and capturing rainwater have enabled many farmers to produce more crops in the dry season, hugely boosting their incomes. The ag water researchers estimate, for instance, that over 180 million people in sub-Saharan Africa could benefit from improved on-farm water supply using motorised pumps. That would generate annual revenues of up to $22 billion, making a massive contribution to household incomes. And it's already beginning to happen. A good example of just how innovative farmers can be is that of Purushottam Patel from Gujarat in India. He uses the dung from his eight cows to generate biogas. This is then fed to a pump that runs partly on diesel and partly on gas. This novel arrangement has saved him $400 a month in fuel costs. At the same time, improved water supply has enabled him to double his crop production. He also sells water to adjacent farms, further enhancing local food production. The researchers accept, however, there are risks to unchecked expansion of smallholder water management. The poorest farmers, especially women, still struggle to find the resources needed to access new technologies and that may lead to greater inequities. And a farm water free for all may raise serious issues of environmental sustainability in some areas. New institutional arrangements will be needed if these issues are to be overcome. Innovative business models, such as a pump on a bike hire schemes, where cycling entrepreneurs tour rural areas renting out pumps strapped to their bicycles, can also help address problems of access. In my view, there are huge investment opportunities for further unlocking the potential of this approach. This research has shown where money can be targeted for maximum impact and is unique in looking at innovation potential at country and state level and thereby providing the basis for upscaling in a major way. Many projects are site specific, but Agwater Solutions looked at the big picture and has identified which levers need to be pulled to make things happen. We are looking forward to working with donors and the private sector to capitalise on this upswell of farmer-led innovation. 
This is Colin Chartres at the International Water Management Institute.